It's your girl, the original calculator girl, or the OCG for short. I am in Dallas, Texas, at the Pan African Connection Bookstore, and you wouldn't believe who in the world I ran into out here. I know y'all seen him once before in Vegas, but y'all haven't seen him out here in Dallas. See, in Vegas, he had a whole different position. He had a whole different job to do, but today, he got something else he is doing. Welcome, Dr. Tillman. How you doing? I'm doing well. Nice to see you. Glad to be out here. Yeah, I see you out here, huh? Yes, I am with like, my author hat on. <laughs> yeah, y'all see that? He said his author hat, okay? You see he didn't even try to do that little A motion up the top. His author hat on today. And now you know me. I'm nosy, so I'm going to ask him. What kind of author hat you be having on out here in Dallas, Texas? <laughs> well, again, being here, I'm excited. Just, again, being a part of Who Am I Dream Tour. Uh, this opportunity where I'm able to come out and promote my books. Uh, also, it's kind of like my home in a sense since I just live north of here in the Carrollton area. But here to share information about my book, uh, Tap Into Your Greatness. It's just an opportunity to share 30 days on how to maximize your greatness. And, uh, you know, I'm not working in terms of the operation side today. So that's why I say I got that author hat on today. Yeah, you notice, okay, last time y'all seen him, he was all professional. That's why I almost didn't recognize him, because he done went all, he just done toned it way down on me today, because he got his author hat on today. And, you know, I want to know more about this book. Well, hey, this is a great opportunity just to kind of share information. Being here at this uh, awesome bookstore, you have so many different vendors and people here. Uh, just one opportunity to share with them what I'm speaking on in terms of greatness. And, this is a book, like I said, from a journal perspective to help people recognize how you can utilize your potential versus the concept of success. If you tap into your potential, your ability, your talent, what you have, that's not something just as obvious. Whereas success, we're taught so many different things where if I have the money and if I have the house and I have the car, you lose those things, now you're unsuccessful. But if you tap into your potential, which is your greatness within, that is something that you hold. Can't no one take from you, and you have to utilize yes. that. So, again, I just encourage those to tap into it. And this is such a great stage with so many different ones that are here mm -hmm. from different places in this area, in this awesome bookstore, this awesome mm -hmm. event of Juneteenth, uh, the Collard Green Festival, as they call it, in terms of the short concept that they're focused on. Yes, it's an awesome opportunity to be a part of. So I'm just here, like I said, casual. Also, being in Dallas, Texas, it is about 90 degrees. So, yeah, I need to take that blazer off. <laughs> that's, that's okay. He said, we're going to get back to the color greens in a minute, but he said something very important. He said, tap into the greatness within. I mean, you don't hear that often these days. You are at, you're absolutely right. Everybody look at the houses the cars, how much money you have in your bank account, the type of clothes you wear, and that's what they call success. Success is so much more than the material things because the greatness from within, that's not a material thing. That's a spiritual thing. Exactly. And can you elaborate on that spiritual greatness and like where it comes from within? Because some people, they just see the material world. Can you kind of help them? And fill in some of the blanks on how you can tap into that greatness from within because I think that's so important especially for the young folks out there today it just they need this yeah uh, you know young young kid growing up in the south raised in the church I remember uh, my grandfather used to have his scripture uh, hum yourselves into my hand of God that he may exalt you in due time and that was a scripture that stuck with me that helped me to remain humble but it also helped me to recognize how God will exalt you in due time based off of who you are and you had to tap into where you come from where yo what is your heritage what is your talents what is your ability and one of the things I try to share with students and, and different uh, young adults is that we have to have realistic expectations in terms of our mentorship and those who are connected with in terms of getting wise counsel you can't see the celebrities that you see on TV you know LeBron and you know just lost Stephen Curry just won, but you're not going to have a relationship with them on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you have someone that you work with day by day, 
you have someone within the community and you recognize that there's something that you have within yourself that you can use, it will be a great opportunity for you to tap into that greatness so you hold that and you use it day by day to get through whatever it is, but also to maximize your potential for what your gift and your ability is as well. Well, he put it right there in the nutshell. I can't follow up on that one because, I mean, I don't even want to mess. I don't even want to mess that explanation up. That was like, you know, extraordinary right there. So I, see, he think he hiding. He got two books here, okay? He know I've been eyeing that second book. I was eyeing it outside. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me about this second book, Kim? This second book is an uh, awesome work. Uh, this is it's called Out of the Mouth of Babes by uh, Dr. Laverne Adekunle, which is actually my mother. And this is my my actual son. This is her grandson, uh, okay. Highland. And what it was, is this story here is about recognizing using the power of words with your youth. Again, helping them to recognize as babies growing up things that are inspiration, things that you need to learn, even him understanding now with no stop saying thank you, certain things, and he's only 11 months old, what powerful words are mean? And as he continue to grow, there's a the journal concept of us give you certain scriptures, certain development, certain things that, you know, out of the mouth of base from a simple concept that you can use throughout, you know, raising your children. Great children's book, great devotional, great tool that you can use, that you can write. It's very interactive. Uh, love this idea that my mother shared and came up with. Uh, love my little man as well as on the front cover of this as well. He cute. You got a cute son right there. He is so gorgeous. Look. Oh Lord, he gonna have all kind of women out there. He oh, gonna lay on. He gonna be a, he gonna be a baby day kid. He gonna have already. They be crawling behind him. Okay, he cute. Look, look at him. I hope you gotta zoom in on him. Okay, I could be his bodyguard. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll be his bodyguard because he gonna have all kind of stuff going on. But I mean, the power of the tongue. I mean. Life or death and the power of the tongue. Right. There it is. Life or death, and it's just like the power of the tongue. Once those words leave, they go on forever. And how you use them, whether they positive or negative, it can stick with a child at such a young age. It's now you have to start training up a child in which way to go. And if you speak positive things towards your child, your child will reach success. If you speak negative things towards your child, your child might end up on the wrong road in jail or prison or somewhere else that they probably shouldn't be in the wrong group of people. So watch the words. I understand it's a hard, that's hard. Oh yeah, it's, it's a day by day thing, yeah. but you just make it practical. I mean, to me, one of the greatest ways that you can give back into this world with all that goes on, and it starts with you, your first ministry is at home. Uh, you know, it starts with your, you know, with your, you know, your spouse, and then it works with the children. And I think one of the greatest contributions that you can give is by helping your children and then seeing your children prosper and give back as well. So, like you said, uh, the, the, power, the life and death is power of tongue, and what you teach and what you say around them, and when what you help them in terms of their development language, how they communicate is another awesome matter when it comes to, like I said, out of the mouth of babes. And that's the key. I mean, what you say, like I even, I have God kids. I don't have no kids. Thank God. And because my God kids, man, I had like 12 of them little jokers. And they like six and below. The oldest is 18. And you have to watch what you say because they will repeat what you said. They might not repeat it right there with you, but they will at some point going to repeat it. And then people might question, like, what are you teaching those kids? You know, and it's like, when you teaching my kid with my kid with you? It's just, I don't know where they got that from. <laughs> and it's just like, I always try to be conscious of what I'm saying, even sometime in public. And that's why I said it's hard because it's so much going on. You can slip up sometimes, but try to keep that positive stuff on your mind. As soon as I, if I start thinking negative, doing negative, you know, I, I try to revert back positive, positive, because I know. If I'm going to say something to somebody, I want to have a positive influence on that person versus a negative influence. And right here, starting at a young age, they they absorb it, everything like a sponge. So you definitely got to watch your words and what you're putting out here in the universe. And it just don't get any better than that. You want? How can anybody buy your books or your mom book? You can visit. Uh, my website is www.fvrd. The number two, win dot org dot org. Uh, that's favor to win dot org. You also can find us at the laexpose dot com. 
And that's another way you can find some of our materials and everything that we have listed there in terms of booking information as well. Okay. All right. Well, this is your girl, the original calculator girl. It was such a pleasure to run into you here in Dallas, Texas. Selling this book, so make sure y'all go purchase the book and support him, okay? Because you know I got to pick up my copies too. So go ahead, hit the website. If you in the area, you can drop on by. They'll be out here all day long. Well, I don't know what all day long is, but they'll be out here. <laughs> and if not, guess what? The bookstore going to still be here, so you can just come on in the bookstore yes. and purchase it at the bookstore, whether, he, whether he's here or not. You got it? Okay, so y'all got it out there? Okay, so... But that's it. Anything else? No, I just appreciate you for this opportunity. Good to see you again. Look forward to our next event, actually in September, the Extraordinary People Awards. It's September 11th through the 12th at the Hilton Anatole. Again, you can visit our website to get more information on that, the uh, laexpose.com. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys then. And those that's, you know, again, here, stop by, come see us. Uh, I got a special price for those that uh, come out and check us out. Special price. It don't get no better than that. And y'all know me. Y'all know I always got to get Dr. Tillman a hard time, right? Because what? I saw him already in his professional suit. <laughs> then I already seen him dressed down. Can we get a sneak peek of what's going to come up? Which, how you going to be dressed in September for the Extraordinary People Award? Because you know, you know I'm nosy, so I'm trying to get a sneak peek. I mean, I done seen you, like, you trying to transform two times on me? Well, just let's just know that that's a uh, formal attire. So uh, I'm working on what I may decide to do. I don't, I'm not formal. exactly sure yet. Okay, y'all heard it. The way he said, he said formal <laughs> attire, okay? So with that, I guess y'all gonna have to keep watching to see how he's gonna turn, because you know I'm gonna be there covering the red carpet, so you know I'm gonna be all up and down covering everybody. You gonna think I'm the next Joan Rivers. I'm gonna take her spot on Fashion Police, but anyway, that's a whole nother story. But this is your girl, the original calculator girl, the OCG, and I'm about to sign out, and you know how I do it. Peace. Peace.